Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be teaching you in Battlecats Ultimate how to make stats for enemies and units. So I'll show you how to make animations in a later video. All right, but for now we're just gonna go into unit animation and then just copy something and make it an enemy, which is also something I'm gonna be teaching you. So Balrog Cat looks like an enemy. You know, he kind of looks like you could fight this dude as if he was a boss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at his, uh, I'm going to view his data. And uh, I'm just going to take a snippet of it right now because uh, we will need it later. Um, so yeah, there I have his data. And now I'm going to press copy. And now I have him. And it's Balrog Cat. So I'm going to call it Balrog Boss. And, um... Boom, now it's there, and here's his animation and stuff. So right now we are inside Edit Image Cut. But let's go to Edit Main Model, and then press this button, Revert. So now he's flipped around. So now if we go back into Custom Animation, now it'll show that he goes the other way. Pretty cool. Um, Balrog Cat... Yeah, so you see how he slides back? Now he slides the other way. So everything, everything is reversed, all right? So it's pretty cool. It's uh, pretty easy, too, like real easy. So now, if I want to make him a boss, I'll go into my world, and then enemies is here. So I'll just click him. That's his animation. We'll add, and then let's call him Balrog Boss, and boom. Now he's there, but now he doesn't have any stats. So now we press edit, and this is where it's a little confusing, but trust me, stay with me, everything will be okay. So now we can get the stats that we snipped, and boom, his attack, 121,500. So, 121,500, boom. So what we're going to do is just copy over his uh, stats. So pre-attack animation, 28 frames, 28. Um... Uh, speed, what was his speed? Um, what was range was 180, so let's just, uh, yeah, uh, DPS, we can't change that, barrier, no, time between attack, zero, all right, speed, 12, um, hitbox, one, or not hitbox, HB actually means how many times it'll get hit, like, you know, knocked back before it dies and a normal boss would be three or four so I'm gonna change this from one to four just because why not um drop let's make him drop 10,000 you know so when you kill him you get 10,000 pretty simple um, um CD if it's uh, I think that's it so now we can give him any stuff if we want, right? Um, here it says he's immune to 50% of waves. Um, Berserker, resist, wave, HP, attack loss, immune to weak, you know, all these, uh, um, you know, abilities. But I'm going to give him my own ability. I'm just going to give him 100% wave that is level 10. So, yeah. And, um... Yeah, I'll just tell you what all these mean. Knockback. Uh, probability? Probability. Like, 0 to percent. 0% to 100%. Time? This is how many... How much... How long it'll be knocked back. Distance, this is how far. 8,000 is the max um, uh, distance in a base, like in a level. So, that's to give you perspective. Yeah. And then, this should be... Every second should be times... 30 because 30 frames in a second Boom. stop pretty simple percentage probability and how long you stop them slow same thing critical yeah pretty easy probability and then buff is like if he had a 100 percent chance of doing critical well the probability doesn't matter but um say the critical hit would make it do 200 percent like that um wave probability easy levels how far it goes like level 10 wave would have 10 of those sh shock waves um weaken 
and just how long it weakens them and like what you know percentage of their attack does it weaken them to breaking barriers probability easy warp um you know probability time how, how long it warps them and then you know how far it gets them back these can go on and on and on you know um they're pretty self-explanatory down there they're just probability um stop time easy uh seal uh self-explanatory this is a bit hard summon um it's also pretty pretty cool it's also pretty cool um probability easy id is the id of the enemy you want them to summon um so like i could make him summon a doge which would be one i think or zero and then distance i could make it five thousand so pretty close to the base and then buff would be like 100 percent would leave like a normal doge health and buff type i'm not sure type is like the type attack it would do like type yeah like plus one yeah plus one is for normal attack plus two is to attack knockback if it would just stay plus four is attack underground eight corpse 16 attack soul and then 32 is attack goes yeah um time easy moving attack i'll make a video on this because i'm not really sure I, I don't have my you know brain wrapped around it just yet i don't know theme yet and i poison pretty self-explanatory if you can figure that out good luck but i'll make a video on these three in the near future um yeah so and then you can give it a trait and um let's say it's let's just say it's red um and then say you want it to have multiple attack because it's in in, in its attack animation it has maybe multiple attacks like it does two swings yeah simple you can just do this add and then give it um, a different attack animation, pre-attack animation, and then different damage if you want, and then you can give it different um, abilities and range. So yeah, that's pretty simple. Um, so now we've given it our stats, so now we can go into custom stage and uh, add an enemy, and it'll be Balrog boss level. Boom. And then we can scroll all the way down. And there, there's Balrog boss. Um, let's do 8,000 length. All right, perfect. Now let's start. I don't want an, a red, empty red. Okay, yeah, perfect. Boom. There he is. We made that. Nice job. Uh, so yeah. Also in Battlecats Ultimate, in this update, you can right-click um, things, and then they'll just be spams. And if you can't afford them, they'll just save up. So there it is. There's our level 10 wave that we added, and he's really powerful. 121,500 is a lot of damage. So a good person against us would be immune to waves, or we could just let him get to the base. So yeah, we've made him OP. I'm not going to try to kill him, but I'm just showing you, like, that's what we've done. And it gets laggy when I zoom in. Um, so yeah. That was perfect timing. I just sent him in, and he died. So yeah. Perfect. He's strong, just as strong as I want him, him to be. Problem is, I think I forgot to give him health. I think I did. Yeah, 10,000. That's a default. Let's see. Um, health was uh, 126,360, and then three hit box, hitbacks. Pretty simple. Yeah. 126,360. All right. Boom. And then three. So I'll just change three. Uh, yeah. Perfect. So yeah, we've made an enemy, and there's an enemy. Now, if we want to have an enemy that we can play with or use, um, say you really want yourself an assassin bear. Because that thing's just so overpowered. I, I agree with you. Um, so let's just sniff its stats. And um, let's, let's get it. So yeah, now we have it. Let's go to copy and name it, and then main model revert. Perfect. Now let's go to custom pack, Swords of Ligma, and then custom units. Stages, custom stages is how you make the levels. Custom units is how you make units. Enemies, you just click them, add, and then they'd be right there, as I've previously shown. Custom unit, you click this, and this is it. So you 
click that, and then you add it, and boom. A bear. Boom. So now, if I wanted to give it another form, I could click that, and then add it, and then it'd have a different form. So it'd evolve, you know. But I don't want that, because Assassin Bear doesn't have another form, or at least if it does, I don't know of it. So yeah, edit, let's just give it the stats. Uh, 550 HP, it's not a lot at all. Well, let's put it at 1, so this is the stats when it's at 1. This is 550 HP, hit back, um, 1, just 1, okay. Uh, speed, what was it, speed, um, 150, it's pretty fast. Uh, barrier no with no price is up to you um, uh, Price would be let's just say Let's just make him cheap even though he's OP. Let's just make him 200 cooldown is the time in frames How long it takes cooldown so 60 would be two seconds. So let's give it um, 150 so five seconds cooldown pretty simple Range I think it was 500 let me check uh, range 800 excuse me um, zero time between attack um, to base just keep that empty damage per second one uh, well let's give it the attack um, tax 3,000 3,000 pre attack animation one well it should be six um, yeah yeah that seems just about right. Now I'm gonna show y'all something really cool. When a, when an when an enemy or a unit is knocked back, if there's a unit that is fast enough, it can um kind of it can kind of like just squeeze through it. And uh, you'll you might have seen that if you play Battle Cats, and then there's like a boss wave that comes out, and then a little like Angel Doge walks between your army. So if you go into knockback, and let's just give it like. 1% chance because this is already OP enough. Suit time 300. So 10 seconds and then one pixel of distance. So they just stayed knocked back for a good 10 seconds so Bear can just go through them. So yeah, I think that's all the stats. Um, yeah. Alright, cool. So now. Let's go in and let's fight with the cats that we've just made, you know? Um, let's take out that cat. All right. Um, I don't want my whole thing to lag, so let's do, what was it? Knock back. If I can, yeah, there it was. Um, yeah. There he is, and he doesn't have an icon yet because we haven't given him one, which you can easily give him one by going into the files, and I'll show you how to do that once we see this big lad in action. Boom. Okay, so he's really overpowered. Great. It's perfect. Now, um, let's just exit this out. We've already done it. Now, Battle Cat's ultimate folder, if you want to give him a unit and icon, you can go to Resolution, or R-E-S, Res, um, animation and then just find the thing a bear and then you'll find uni you know so yeah you can just open this in photoshop and open this in photoshop and then you can do a little cut and paste action or copy and paste action control zero control zero this is about to be really bad but whatever yeah, let's just add this, paste, make it back there, and then add a layer in between, and now we can just grab this little dude, um, copy, and this is going to look bad. Yeah, see, it looks awful, um, and you can just do some Photoshop work, crop the, the white off. If you even want to, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, if you don't want to, that'd be normal because most um, most are usually white. You know, like most icons are usually white. Uh, so yeah, we can just paint this all white. Boom. 
yeah, that kind of worked. Whatever. It doesn't have to be good. I'm not making it good just because I don't care. Um, save. Yes. Replace it. Okay. Perfect. Now if we um, now if we close Battle Cat's ultimate and then open it again, it should. Um, yes. Uh, yeah. So it should. If we go into lineup, which is not set up. Uh, no, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just see. Um, so where's Ligma stage? Uh, starts. Yeah, there he is. He has his own little icon. It's, it's ugly, but it's my ugly thing. So, whatever. And now he's dead. And yeah, perfect. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, it, it's confusing. It is confusing. So, if you need help, comment. You know, or join the Battlecats Ultimate Discord, which I'll link in the description. Peace.